Hello, welcome to Macro Point of View Commodities News focused on the soft commodities today. And we start with a sugar. A sugar that is rising above many years highs and that created a huge problem. So before the show, I prepared Fibonacci retracements made back to the all time highs in 2011. And I made it with the bottom of a little bit over 20 cents per pound. As you can see, it's here with the 0% and the market now is reached already 23.6%. And we are on our ways really, really high. And because of that, I'm gonna change this 21 level to 25 just because it's our next target on a rising market. And this rising market is focused on the drop production in Asia. Those production will drop rapidly in many, many countries, in India, Indonesia, with China, which is officially confirmed that will be dropping from 9.33 million tons in the season 22-23 to 9 million tons. This is official government data already. And we've got a uh, flash of that news uh, about a week ago. So it's confirmed now that Thailand, the India, the Indonesia, all those main producers of sugar in Asia will drop production really, really soon on this season 22-23. That's why this market is rising as Brazil is expecting rising production. Also, United Europe is expecting drop in production. European Union uh, confirmed that France is not able to use some pesticides on the sugar beets uh, production. So it will be dropping production in the European Union as well. That's why everything will focus on Brazil. And Brazil is expecting to have a huge record production of sugar. But the problem is that they will also have a huge production and uh, with record numbers for corn and soy as well. That will create a huge problem from uh, logistic sites as there will be disruptions on the export and the uh, export of the more profitable goods will be in focus. That's why corn, soy and probably coffee will have advantage above the sugar. That's why it's rising and it will probably rise above 25 cents this week. This is what I expect. So that's why I put this level here. And I think those Fibonacci retracements from 2011 with a top level of 36 cents per pound is and the bottom of uh, 20.35 is a very good levels to set us targets for commodity markets my many years experience shows that fibonacci retracement it's very good for exit levels not for entry, but for exit levels. And because we already crossed so hard, 24 cents, which is a rent number, plus it's 23.6% of this Fibonacci retracement back to 2011, all time highs. That's why I think we'll go straight to 25 cents tomorrow and probably 26.4 as a target, as a huge target, as a huge take profit in the next five to eight sessions. So probably till end of the next week. This is my idea for sugar. And because of it, I think we'll go down to another markets, which will be coffee, which is also on a rising market. There is no big deal with Brazil, as I said as uh, before, also Brazil is expecting a nice harvest of coffee this season and uh, probably drop in next season, but it's not so big problematic as a drop in an export from Vietnam. Of course, Vietnam is focused on Robusta, not Arabica, but uh, with a recession, 
on our doorstep globally, it shows that Robusta should worked well and when we've got the drop of Robusta export that means it mar the market will reach some replacement which will be more expensive but taste more tasteful Arabica which provides us this rising prices recently. Also take a closer look on this uh, Fibonacci retracement that is already placed for a long time on my market with the bottom here in the, the January 23 and the top from uh, period between August and September 22 that these Fibonacci retracements are keep working as an exit level. Let's take a look. Okay, of course, before here setting it here, it was quite nice to have 23.6 as an exit level or 38.2% as a second exit level. Fred take profit was 50%, then we've got drop by 25% of this m movement to 166 and it's worked perfectly and now we are on a good way and i will think that probably till end of this week 193 cents per pound of coffee will be retrieval for this market so i think it's very very good idea to also catch about four or five cents on this price in a very short period probably two maybe three sessions at least so it's a good way to set our exit level on 192 cents point eight to be more specific but uh, of course with Fibonacci retracement I always set about 80 percent of my expected movement so it's extending my chance to have to hit the take profit of course I reduce my take profit on that way but it's a very good way to avoid situation when the Fibonacci level is simply touched by the candle and it's returning without hitting take profit because for example it was not enough liquidity or the spread get wider or whatever might happen on the market that the investment won't be closed so I think 192.5.8 it's a very good idea to have an exit strategy for this rising market in the coffee for the next three or two or three sessions and of course if we're talking about the soft markets we should take a look also on the cocoa market and this cocoa market I already have a volume here but I don't think we need it as it quite nice and as you can see this Fibonacci retracement is also dating back to the top levels of February 22 with the bottom levels from September 22 and now it should be updated as we already have a new high new recent high and the market stopped the thing is the key for this market now will be a weather in Ivory Coast because all the farmers in Ivory Coast wherever they reach to the reigning of uh, above or under five years average they all keep saying that they need a rains in the next 10 days around average levels because of that I'm pretty sure that they might be a problem because the forecast doesn't say it will be enough raining. There's enough sunlight, but more raining is necessary to reach the certain level of production for the current harvest, which is started in April and will end up in uh, September. But the rain now will emerge to more cocoa beans that will be harvested in August and September itself. And because the deliveries to the Ivory Coast uh, ports and harbors are below last year level and the five years average, that's what is keeping this price high. So the good idea here at the moment is to expect unexpected so that there will be some rain in Ivory Coast, which might create the drop of this price for about $150 down. 
the price is in USD, so it's a New York market, not uh, London market. So, as I said, $150, it will be a quite nice take profit for Coca-Cola market if it drops down after some rain hitting Ivory Coast in the next two calendar weeks. So, this is enough for today's show. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like it. I hope you will find uh, it useful and you earn some money on it. So thank you very much and see you on the next show. Good luck on the market and have a good time. Don't forget about subscribing our channel. Thanks in advance. Bye.